With the country frozen in the ice age, Toronto works as the mammoth of the mechanical world, braving Canadian winters for over three centuries. Canada's economic capital and the hub for education and technology, Toronto works as a businessman in the family of Canadian cities. But beyond its metallic grey exterior, colourful cultures lay within, with nationalities from all over the globe traversing this well-known city. Though business supersedes boho in this modern town, a flock of happy hippies and artistic eccentricity can still be found in the city's cuppy holes every so often. This clean, environmentally conscious metropolis suggests that sustainable cities are not the oxymorons we believe them to be. I decided to revisit this city after receiving an invitation to join a charity event for the Caribbean Children Foundation, curious to see if there are pieces of me left in this city that was once my birthplace. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Vlogging Jude. My name is Jude, and today we are going to be traveling to Toronto, one of the few Canadian cities that rival the mega cities of Chicago and New York. There, we will explore some of the main attractions, as well as the top vegan restaurant in the downtown area. However, diverting from this tourist tango, we will dance to a beat of our own and discuss what it means to help others and how helping others can inherently help yourself. In the silhouette of Toronto's skyscape, the pin of the CN Tower blinks like a heart monitor, keeping time to the heartbeat of downtown. The CN Tower functions as a communications and observation tower that was originally built in 1976. The CN in the CN Tower stands for Canadian National, the railway company that built this colossal construction on former railway lands. For over 32 years, it was the world's tallest freestanding structure and is now one of the seven wonders of the world by the American Society of Civic Engineers. Not bad for a country known for little more than maple syrup and good table manners. Unlike the Empire State Building filled with stagnant air and tight lines, the waiting experience at the CN Tower is much more pleasant, with a clean, large space for visitors to wait and complain about said wait. The CN Tower also provides live entertainment while you wait, allowing toddler troll half-breeds to be distracted for at least a few minutes. At 553 meters high, my nihilism quickly dissolved into enchantment as I soaked in cinematic panoramics of my hometown. Children and adults alike cuddled and crawled over the glass floor, confident in the invincibility of North American engineering. My mother, however, had her doubts, sitting cross-legged on the glass with an internal scream sparkling in her eyes. <laughs> Just a few short steps from the CN Tower is yet another popular destination, the Ripley's Aquarium. Built by Ripley Entertainment in 2013, the organization that brought us the famous Believe It or Not series, this colossal aquarium is home to nearly 20,000 exotic sea and freshwater creatures of over 450 species. This site is a must for Shark Week addicts and marine biology majors alike, with Ripley's Aquarium providing a wealth of opportunity for individuals to interact with these fascinating and intelligent creatures. As we sauntered through exhibit after exhibit, we came in contact with creatures once isolated by their water brigade. The facility does a fantastic job in providing important and interesting information on each and every species that truly pique your interest as to what other mysteries lie within this speck of Earth. Ripley seeks to recreate the ecosystem these creatures would have normally lived in if it were not under attack by human carelessness. Ripley's is even approved by the well-known, sometimes notorious, animal rights group PETA. Ripley's also provides many educational programs for children and teenagers interested in pursuing marine biology or environmental science. Though zoos and circuses multiply throughout society like cockroaches, it is comforting to know that there are organizations like Ripley Entertainment that put morality over money. Hey, how's it going? Oh, Lord. Balls? Balls, I mean, balls. They can't have balls like... Stop, stop pointing out the fish genitalia. No, but that's what I'm showing you. <laughs> Though most describe veganism in plates of tasteless tofu chunks and preachy sermons, Planta Toronto transforms veganism into the idea that saving the lives of animals can be trendy and tasty. Though its concrete block exterior does not have the striking appearance of urban chic, a trip through its glass doors dissipates any skepticism. 
with lo-fi beats resounding in between lively conversation, an alternative yet elegant dining experience awaits you. However, it is important that you make reservations ahead of time as it is a popular establishment for vegans and non-vegans alike. As we sat down at the bar, I scanned the menu in awe, not used to such an available variety of dishes that did not compromise my diet. For vegetarians and vegans sick of ordering a salad and fries, the Planta Toronto is just for you. Not only are all dishes meat-free and dairy-free, they can also be nut-free and gluten-free upon request for those with allergies or restrictions. Despite its tangy and tasty flavors, don't let the meat of the dish fool you. Everything is 100% vegan. Though my mother and I had given back to the community in small quantities, supporting Ripley's ethical efforts, as well as altering our palates to save a cow or two, our adventures were mainly comprised of self-indulgence. We decided it was time to do something that was not for ourselves, but for our family and community. The main reason we decided to come to Toronto in the first place, to attend the charity cruise for the Caribbean Children Foundation. The Caribbean Children Foundation is a small Canadian-run charity that seeks to provide specialized medical attention for poor and critically ill children in the Caribbean. The CCF is also exceptional in another way that makes it distinct from other charities. Unlike many major nonprofits, CCF is 100% charity-based, with no one individual being paid for the work they put forth. It is for this reason that those who sponsor the CCF are given the title Angels, with my uncle being both sponsor and angel, though probably more of a fallen angel than anything else. As we boarded the cruise, we were greeted with reggae tunes and an overwhelming heat that turned any regular alcohol buzz into a blitz. Though the heat was intense and the dance moves were questionable, everyone enjoyed themselves, breaking moves and backs on the dance floor for what we all believed was a good cause. As the raffles began, patrons bought a surplus of tickets, wanting to help children of their homeland while still getting a chance to win a prize or two. It was such a magical experience to be stuffed on a boat with strangers and find them in complete harmony with one another, enjoying their brief time together. Such an instance shows that with peace, any problem can be solved, even poverty and illness. Though our trips through tourist traps were amazing, it was our time and effort spent on this charity cruise that made our Toronto vacation worthwhile. Beyond the North American fallacy for every man for himself, it is true that helping others can change your community as well as yourself. Philanthropy is one of the many human skills that separate us from any other species. If anything, it is the skill that precisely makes us human. And it is that skill that turned asking Jude into the community it is today. Well, that's all my tidbits for Toronto and helping people in Toronto. If you have done either, leave a comment in the comment section below. Just be sure to treat other people the way you would like to be treated. And if Asking Jude has helped you at all in the past, please consider donating to our Patreon, which I will leave a link to in the description below. It's your donations that keep the Asking Jude community alive and make it the awesome safe space that it is today. Anyway, stay safe, stay kind, and stay strong. Bye. Okay. Ready? Okay. You look like you're in pain. Oh, you, me? you, you, okay, you. Okay, what do I want? No, you just like lean back and be, be. No, you. <laughs> you're looking like you're, you're, in, you're not, you're not fully conscious. <laughs>